In the news, three dangerous terror convicts who escaped from prison rearrested. Another building collapse left four people dead. Barcelona advances lying loose in Women's Champions League data shortly. You're watching TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network, and this is TOS News 360. Three dangerous terror convicts Musharraf Abdallah, Joseph Juma, and Muhammad Ali Abika, who escaped from prison in eastern Kenya, have been rearrested while attempting to flee to neighboring Somalia. The convicts broke out of the Kamiti Maximum Security Prison in the capital Nairobi on Sunday. Mauritius has sworn in B.B. Rehana Mongle Gulbul as first female Chief Justice to head the Supreme Court after consultations with the Prime Minister. Mongli Gulbul studied law in England and was called to bar in 1983 in Wales. She succeeded Ashraf Kwanhe, who retired after 20 years in the Supreme Court. Mozambican President Felipe Nyosi has appointed a recently sacked Interior Minister Amade Mekidadi as the High Commissioner to Rwanda. Mekidadi was dismissed from office last week and was replaced by the country's first woman Interior Minister, Asenia Masingwe, two days later. Before his dismissal, he was one of the top defense and security figures dealing with insecurity in the northern region, which has been hit by jihadist attacks for the last three years. The Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, is set to unveil a Doppler weather system to monitor weather up to 400 kilometers. The Director General of the agency, Professor Mansur Baku, made this known at the presentation of a three-year multi-scale flooding monitoring and assessment services for West Africa to reduce risk and manage flood disasters. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Mala Mohamed Bello, has said there will be no reimbursement for owners of demolished structures in Abuja. He revealed that most of the structures were illegal, noting that there are principles for building in Abuja. According to him, the ongoing demolition in the nation's capital is to write fractions of the master plan. You're watching your digital first Pan-African news network, TOS Television, and this is News 360. More news after the break. Welcome back. Barely three weeks after a 21-story building in Ikoi left about 45 people dead, another building has collapsed in Magbon, Baragri area of Lagos, claiming the lives of four people. The director of Lagos State Fire Service, Margaret Odessa on Wednesday, confirmed the incident in a statement, noting that emergency officials swiftly responded to distress call on the incident. An official has said over 400 Iraqis who were stranded in Belarus are now being repatriated on a charter flight from Minsk to Baghdad. Iraq's first deportation flight on Thursday aims to return citizens who travel to Belarus with the hope of entering Europe amid reports of a looming humanitarian disaster with reports of violence on both sides of the Poland-Belarus border. Canada, Mexico and the US have taken the initiative to cut methane emissions in the oil and gas sectors by 60 to 70 percent by 2030, thereby boosting COVID-19 vaccine donations. The leaders of the North American countries made this known during the first leaders' meeting in five years in Washington, D.C. on Thursday. According to one of the officials, Canada and Mexico are also set to announce plans to donate millions of doses of COVID-19 vaccines to poorer countries. The Federal Executive Council, presided over by President Mohamed Buhari on Wednesday, approved contract worth $27.4 billion for project in the Ministry of Works and Housing and the Federal Capital Territory. The Council also approved the establishment of the Federal University of Health Sciences and the raising of a bill for the enactment of the Civil Defense, Corrections, Fire and Immigration Services Board. Also approved was the payment of 895 million naira to Pell Consultant for the supervision of a Rivers Road project. Captain Alexia Putellas netted a penalty to spark a 5 0 route of Hoffingham as Women's Champions League holders Barcelona swept into the quarterfinals on Wednesday, but Lyon missed a chance to qualify with two games to spare after losing to Bayern Munich. Putellas, the UEFA Women's Player of the Year, who was a leading contender to win the Ballon d'Or later this month, converted the opening goal from the spot just before half time in Germany. And that's News 360 on your digital first Pan African news network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on the network. I am 
Merciful Arjuna Many thanks for watching.